hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting topic and this is one of the trending topic now and you could see that you know there is a lot of discussion about chat gpt in a lot of places in uh, in google uh, searches you will be able to see you will be able to see twitter you will be able to see a lot of places about uh, chat gpt and uh, you may you know i don't know how many of you know about this uh, when when i'm just now submitting this video so if you already know no problem you know uh, if you this is mainly for those who has not uh, heard about it or this is uh, useful for somebody you know uh, know about it but you don't know how it's exactly working or what is the purpose or you know how to make use of that okay so uh, you could see that in the screen like uh, what i'm going to talk about is something called uh, chat gpt and if you don't know what it is you know it's from you know open ai uh, system so it's one of a uh, chatbot so which is basically you know uh, from an uh, artificial intelligence kind of like which is uh, trained and you know when we ask questions it can respond back uh, with a lot of answers and the, it's the, it's not just like you know normal chatbot like you know we see like when we go for some customer service we ask some questions it's a reply back right like uh, asking some questions back this is uh, bigger than that so like you know when you go to google right you go 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 to google search you search for it right and you get a lot of uh, details so you will have to find out which is you know you have to find out read through the articles and you need to find what is uh, all about and also but this is more interesting i'll i'll show you a little bit more but before that if you see uh, this is uh, one of you know uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, stats like you see like uh, to reach 1 million users or registration for chat gpt it took only five days whereas in other like netflix or you know uh, airbnb facebook it took a lot of uh, years or months for them so this is one of really tre trending topic now and it's uh, people think like you know this will be a future where you know it will be useful for a lot of uh, benefits like how to make use of this for learning technologies or getting some answers uh, like any solutions writing programming so a lot of things like you know so if you see these uh, chats you should be able to see like there are a lot of uh, you know things which people as uh, you know commented on the chat gpd so uh, i know you can uh, see through this like you know if you, if you do a google search itself you see about all those things but what i want to show you like you know uh, how you can make use of this like you know you go to open ai, AI system you create a you know account like you register for it and you just uh, log in to the chat gpt currently this is uh, completely free so i don't know how long it will be free because you can see it's in the preview stage maybe a later point of time you know it can be you know chargeable as well but for now it's completely free and you can see it's a simple uh, example like you know i'm giving a code uh, to the chat gpt in the chat mentioning i i have this code and i'm fee can you fix this it will default you know give an output telling that you know these are some uh, issues and uh, it will fix and it will give you the code as well uh, so let's see something from our end itself like you know so this is the system okay i already lo logged into the chat gpd and you know you can see i can type it somewhere here uh, let me ask you know since we are uh, more into the devops side let me ask uh, the, ch the chat or chatbot mentioning uh, what is ansible okay so let me see what it says now you can see it's giving the complete uh, details like ansible is an open source software you uh, know right uh, for automating and managing id infrastructures and it's giving a lot of things right so uh, what we do is when we search in ansible in google search you should we'll be getting a lot of links or details and we should read it right so here it's more like you know, it's giving you the output uh, like that now uh, you know it's not just like this for example let me ask you you know uh, can you give uh, some examples for ansible playbook now let's see what it says see now it started uh, giving us uh, you know examples as well like you know how to install you know uh, configure web server using nginx setting up system using so it, it can give you different kind of examples okay and not only just writing it started writing the code itself right you see it's giving us the code for the ansible playbook how you can install an apache server right and how to start the you know service and it's also giving the explanation right you know the ansible uh, using playbook where you can see the apache server on system or list the web server group and it would then start the apache service ensuring the web service is up and running right so it's really you know not just like google search like where we 
you know go and search and get and find the detail like so some links and those kind of things but this gives you you know uh, more like uh, like a human readable format and you know like we are talking to someone we share you know some details and as well as the code and also like you know uh, giving uh, the explanation for that right so it's pretty interesting right but i don't know how far this system is uh, trained because you know i cannot tell everything is correct so uh, i think they are in the evaluation phase as well so preview phase so you may see you know it's coming better so but it's really interesting right so let me also show you like uh, for example i have a core right uh, and if, I, if there is some issue in that code it, it can we can ask it like you know can you fix it so let me show you that now if you see i have a uh, you know um uh, com docker compose file right and i have some ports and those kind of things defined here right so let me copy this and i will remove this uh, port number here so let's see what it does so i will ask can you check this docker compose file and uh, correct it and i will paste this and i will also remove this port number from here okay because actually there should be a port right so now let's see what it does. So you can see, you know, uh, Docker Compose file you provide is missing a colon after the ports and the key in the, you know, so let's see what it says. Hmm? Here is the corrected version. So let's see what it uh, tried to do. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what it actually do as well because it's uh, new for me as well. But it looks pretty interesting because it started keep uh, writing it down, right? Now you can see, you know, it's it's corrected the port as well, right? It's 5601 was uh, missing, right, when I pasted it. Now you can see in the version Kibana, the port key followed by colon and the port number, which is the correct syntax, right, which I missed it. And it's also worth the not, uh, nothing that version should, you know, top of the file followed by the services. And the, so see, it's keep explaining us what it is and it's also giving the complete code itself. So you don't need to, you know, find out uh, what it's missed it's it's actually telling what it's missed and also giving the updated one right so if you see in our actual code we missed the 5601 right so it's actually fixed it and given it back and other other other, other example i can tell i can ask it like can you write me a code uh, for a simple game in excel let's see what it does so it says, you know, uh, unfortunately, I'm unable to write a code in programming language, including Excel. I'm a large language system. So it, it looks like some, some cases, you know, it does not do, but I've seen it. It's giving me a code as well. So uh, let me, can you, uh, let me ask it like uh, another question, like create a game in Excel using code. Okay, so it, it, it does not do it now, but actually it was able to do it, you know, when I asked uh, some time before. So let, let's not a problem because, you know, uh, we should see uh, how it does. Okay, let me uh, ask some other question like, you know, uh, can you uh, help me how to get the data from Excel column using PowerShell? Yes, you can use PowerShell to read data from Excel column and see it's giving you the example like, you know, how we can do that, right? So this is pretty interesting, right? So in, in what we do in some cases, like if you don't know this, we go to Google search, we go to Stack Overflow or a lot of places we search and we try to find out, you know, what is the code which or what is the uh, module or what is, you know, the functions which we can use it for uh, fixing those issues or how to get those data, right? Now here it's pretty simple, you know, you can ask it, it it's, it's give you the complete explanation as well as the sample code itself, right? So that is, that is the what I feel it's really interesting and this would be a uh, future, I, I'm sure it will be helpful for a lot of people, but I don't know how much uh, open AI, you know, uh, is able to train this system and giving the accurate data because I cannot tell, you know, everything what it says is right or not because we will have to try, you know, and see whether it works or not. So sometimes it may be right, sometimes it may not be right, but the other case like in Stack Overflow and everything people are sharing uh, from their experience because the same issues may have different kind of solution for different kind of people, right? So you can use the you know, new thread so it will clear out all these things and you can also see like, you know, it uh, give a lot of examples. 
and you can also ask what any kind of things so some of things it can answer some some of things it may say like you know it cannot do it for example you know i can uh, ask anything like can you write a simple uh, react uh, application or I, you can ask like you know how you how i can set up a, a docker uh, container for elastic search or how i can uh, create a kubernetes cluster so let me ask something like that uh, how uh, i can create a docker container for elastic search let's see what it says to create a container you need to follow these steps install docker on your computer on docker install uh, do this download so you can see docker pull see you can it's pretty great right it's even telling what the command you have to run like docker pull elastic search then it's asking us to create the container using docker run command right and it's also telling you know what all things what it does means like the port uh, 9200 and how we, what we are doing you can it's also telling like docker ps to see the containers it's also telling how to stop right start it's pretty great right so I, I feel it's really great that's why it's trending as well because I, we people feel like this is will be helpful that's why in five days you know millions of users have signed up for it and i see today like you know when i was trying to log in it was having some issues like you know it was overloaded and you know i was not able to lo log in and i had to wait so i think they are working on it i also got a message like they are working on uh, improving you know the system on the back and so definitely if the people more people start using they will have to increase the, you know the backend systems and performance as well so uh, for you you know uh, if you are new to uh, uh, chat gpt uh, i would say like go to open ai and you know uh, use try chat gpt sign up and uh, have a try on that so just want to share with you guys and uh, i hope uh, it's useful for you so thank you for watching